Hello viewers, this is Falcon Horse and welcome, finally welcome to Day of the Tentacle Remastered by Double Fine Productions, also formerly done by LucasArts. I've been so forward to looking into this game so long, oh, it's like my childhood memory game. Um, sorry there's no cam um, available here because it's not working, so unfortunately you guys won't get to see my not some good place. So, um, let's get down to it. So, I've had to move the mic. Oh, God. It's like so cool. It's actually like the exact. Time opportunity. That's right. An incredible 4,000 carat diamond for the fiddling sum of $2 million. That number again, 1 800 Star Wars. Call. My god. This is like a room which we never get to explore. But it's like the It's a free made captain. Uh, uh, um, so let's just this thing that so without further ado the number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS this was amazing alright let's do this okay. Maybe not for this one, but just, um... Thank you to Tim Schafer and always, always, always awesome team for doing this game. For Fine Productions. Oh, rest in peace, LucasArts. You will be missed. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Oh, birds. Oh no! Robin! Mmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. I basically know some of the lines from this game. It's. Oh my God. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back, back to, to the mansion.
please. I mean, I'm just trying so hard not to cry. Like someone didn't get their G1 license yet. Hola, Arca. Yeah, it begins. So thank you, Tim Schafer and Dave Garrison. I think I said your name right. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, question is, where is his secret lab? Where is his secret lab? All right. Okay, I have the controls. Switch to red, red, render mode. Settle, cancel, walk, interact. Commentary. Uh, object highlight, change characters. Circle, yep. This is so easy to use on my, P on my PC. This is originally on my PC, like a PC game. A horticultural horror. Jeez, and now we press it back in. Oh my god, wow, it's changed. Like, you can actually see. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this game actually, if you, it's a really simple, like, quick game. If you, like, do it, if you, like, play it very smartly, you can beat this game, like, in one day. But there's so much stuff to react to. It's, like, one of the humorous games ever created in the 90s. Um, even my mom likes it, but she said it was just so funny. It's January. Oh, it's the of my birthday. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Star Wars. I have three just like it at home. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny.
I like how I actually kept the actual um, original music in the uh, regular mode. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Oh, that's a bit harsh. I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. Oh, the camera is dead, though. I hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. Always make sure they get your good side. True fact. But because we haven't got the password yet, it's kind of pointless. Out of order. like it's from a local hardware store. And this. I can't get that. Oh, I can't get that. No, I don't Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Aha! A secret passage. This is all, this is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Oh, like, like Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. And to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Yep, he sure did. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! <laughs> what have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now, Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Oh, great. Something you just, you just want to hear from the crazy doctor. Oh, I don't know if he's back, please.
Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place this, Mom and Dad this are always talking about. I think about. It, fish piece just remind me of Tardises now. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna go down, going down in style. Order jewels? What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get, get out, out of my house. house. Let's get cracking! Sorry for moving the mic up a bit, ladies and gentlemen. Just, I'm just trying to get a comfy spot. Oh, wow. Now, this is like the most funniest bit ever. It is basically. Um, the plans are right in this room over here. Now, the first Maybe time I played this when I was a kid, I had it, I was completely lost. Like, upstairs. I, I they, they want to make you think you follow him, um, but it is not true. Uh, so for this one, we just—I mean, they're right over here. If you want, I can show you what happens, basically. Um, like, you know. You who? Dr. Fred? The plans! The plans! Oh my god. Come on, come on. That's a... Now, where did Dr. Fred go? That is a big, serious question that I'm like, it's probably everyone's wondering. Oh, crap. Yeah, I think every time if you just fill around too much, there'll be news kind of cutscenes every room you go to. News cutscenes like on what happens on the purple tentacle or how what he's doing. So yeah. 
There, it's off. But it's too late now. Well, at least it's off, though. I mean... Come on. I've got the plans! Quick! We have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? get over there, mate. My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes! Down the toilet? No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, I guess. stuck in the kind of colonial times as you heard which you probably know if, uh, a lot about if you know a lot about American history you know and who was around this year I just want to see if they actually um I hope, like, Double Fine Productions brings out a remastered version of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. That was an awesome, awesome game. Like, holy crap. It's closed. Don't open it. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Ooh, the Pony Express. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for keeping that in, Double Fine Productions. I think we're first president of the United States. I'm not sure, because I don't know. But I've known he's very popular. He looks oddly familiar. 
He looks oddly familiar. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Awesome. Indeed. Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful prowess. I think I'll go look at some trees right now. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Poor guy, he's like freezing to death over there. It's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever. Huh. It's a little cage with a canary. It's a little cage. I guess I'd have to start a fire to do that. Hmm. All right, all right, viewers, I'm going to stop it right here. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop it right here. Um, maybe continue part two uh, later on tonight, but um, uh, right now I have a stream to do with Fallout o Automatron. Um, hope you guys will stay tuned for that one at 12.30 uh, or 12 a.m. Eastern Time. So, yep, um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, leave a like if you want, if you want, if you want more, um, and I'll do part two part two very um probably later on tonight because i think i have a lot of time so hope you enjoy it and i'll see you guys in 